What up, Uck Cyclers? Today, we are gonna do a box rip. I've got a 2020 Stadium Club box. I have not opened a 2020 Stadium Club box before. I've opened other years. I've opened plenty of the 2021, um, but not the 2020 yet. Um, uh, I have probably mentioned it before many times, but I'm a big fan of Stadium Club. I remember the original Stadium Club in 92 when they came out. And it's really maintained a consistent, consistent um, product over all the years. Basically, it is a photography first product. So <coughs> they're usually very, <coughs> excuse me, they're usually very minimalistic in their design. They try to have as much of the photo on it as possible. They use really high quality photos, really high quality um, photo stock paper on them. They've got the standard, um, you know, beam team, and they've got autos, and then there's usually a little different stuff. In more recent years, they've started doing a standalone Stadium Club Chrome uh, product. I do have some of that, which I will do a video on uh, probably fairly soon. But uh, yeah, anyway, if you enjoy this kind of content, Please do help me out by uh, subscribing to the channel. I've got lots of other videos, a um, lot of um, blind graded card reveals, uh, box openings. I try to open other different kind of stuff, not just the latest and greatest product that come out. Um, and uh, like the video. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, I get that the resale value of Stadium Club is not on par with Chrome. But me personally, I actually prefer these cards to Chrome from a PC standpoint. So I do have a decent amount of them in my own personal collection. Um, and let's just hope we get lucky and hit some bangers out of here. So uh, enough of me yammering on, let's get to it. All right, camera looks good. We are recording. Hopefully the audio is on. Audio. I would lie if I didn't say I had recorded an entire video before without the audio turned on because I have totally done that. All right, so it comes with the big giant box topper. I actually finally got some proper sleeves um, that fit these things. And looks like we've got Ozzy Albies. There we go. Okay. So for now, we'll just set that over here. Let the ripping begin. Well, if you've watched any of my videos, my video, I probably have never not mentioned being a Padre fan. I try to wear my lucky Padres hats when I'm opening this, these products. So this is what I'm talking about, about like the minimalistic design. I mean, 95 plus percent of the face of the card is the photo and not any borders and words and whatnot. Even within their parallels, Usually just the the color is different, which if they're not numbered can sometimes make it a little tricky to identify them if you're moving quickly or not paying that close of attention. All right, as usual, we'll get a rookie pile going. Backwards. <laughs> that is a cool looking card. I assume that is some other kind of parallel. Kind of parallel. I don't know exactly what that is, but the card was backward. It's got to be a. It's got to be an image variation, I would assume, right? And one thing, uh, speaking of the, you know, focus on photography here is they will frequently feature sort of iconic photos, maybe that weren't necessarily on cards, 
um, somewhere and kind of reuse some of those. Like I believe that's from the old um, was it Bash Brothers. I think it was like a I think it was a poster. I think they made it as a poster. Um, I think that's what that photo's from. <laughs> Jay Puck, rookie. That's a cool photo. That's, a cool photo. That's just a really cool photo, and you know. Okay, some Diaz, Mankata. I guess I'm gonna put like the vet. I'll make like a veteran Hall of Famer pile here. Rookies and then anything uh, stand worthy will go up there, right? All right, you're a rookie. You're not. Bash. Some kind of Vladdy insert, and I guess I'll make a separate pile of the inserts right there. Have a look at that later. There's a Jordan rookie. Rookie. That's cool. Second year Eloy. Jordan, you're worthy of the stand. All right, still in frame. Not a bad start in our first couple of packs. You know, it's a red. The McGuire's red. Maybe it was backwards just because it was a red. I didn't think they did that, but I don't know. Maybe. Uh, if we start getting other reds backwards, then we'll know. <laughs> like, come on, that's a cool, that's a cool photo. There's a rookie. Oh, we got a Rado. We got a Rado. It is. Well, at least it's a rookie. Jose Urquidy. Of the Trash Throws. Number it looks like it's just a base, but still nice condition. Okay, yeah, I think it was just the red, but we'll get a get a little pile of reds going there. That's a cool one. He's a good picture, and that's a really cool picture. Picture. For the picture, sure. All right, continuing along. This comes with one auto, two autos per box. Okay, so we still got one more guaranteed auto in here somewhere. I just like how these look so much. To be fair, though, I'm not a huge fan. They. Because it's photographs, there are a lot, more so than your average product, that are a landscape like this, which obviously most people, including myself, prefer Fraley. What's this? Heroes of the Zone. Don't know if that's particularly bright. They're valuable. Or they're valuable. Cool. I, think I like that green background. There's a judge. Ah, old Logan Webb. Uh, 
That's a cool Vladdy. I like that photo a lot. And I'm guessing this must be a red, red Yuli Gurriel. Yep. Okay. So that was a normal photo of Mark McGuire. Let's see, rookies. Okay. Moving along. Okay, Bogarts, Renshack, Jake Rogers, Ted Williams, former Padre Logan Allen, and <laughs> Rookie Pets. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's awesome. It's ridiculous looking, but awesome. <clears throat> like that. That is the kind. This is the kind of thing you're only gonna get from only gonna get club. Oh, it's a black, a black parallel Schwarber. I think the reds and blacks are not numbered. They're more obviously more common, but then there's some other colors that are um, numbered. There's orange, gold, white, blue. I'm looking at this the wrong way. Hey. Kitty. Gary Wood, Gary Wood. Oh, here's a numbered. Oh, black. Oh, black. Heroes of the Zone. It's numbered. Ripken. There's what I assume is going to be a red. Maybe we'll get lucky and it's black. Backwards, in the wings. Interesting. I wonder if those are on the rare side. I am a I'm a big Juan Soto fan and Juan Soto um, PC guy. There. In the wings are one in 16 packs. There, I found it. Cool card. Oh man, what are they gonna have for Dietrich's this picture? Dietrich, on the bottom here, here, famous for his, uh, his uh, when the red were like, kids were like, turn of uniforms a few years back. And they had the vest with the shirt underneath, and he actually played a game without the shirt underneath. So he basically played sleeveless. Sun's out, gun's out. Svale. Stockis. Edgar Martinez. Okay, we are going to switch this up. We're going to get a pile going for the Reds. 
And we're just going to put black up there. The uh, funny Mark McGuire photo threw me off a little bit. There we go. Then all the Dietrich photos you could have picked, pick that one. Come on, Tops, you're better than that. Speaking of my Padres, how about them Padres so far? I um, don't know when you're watching this. Maybe you're watching this years in the future and the Padres have just won their third straight World Series. I don't know. Probably not. But we are uh, five games into the 2022 season and they are 4-1 and one and quite frankly should be 5-0 five and, five and oh, if not for the uh, Little League style meltdown of their pitcher, of the new... Uh, relief pitcher that went in and um, made a pretty big mess of the place in that first game. Oh, here's our other auto. Here, it wasn't backward. It's red. Red means it's numbered if it's an auto? Yes. Well, I certainly hope this guy turns into a superstar. Unfortunately, I have not heard of him in eight. It ain't like Bo Bichette or somebody like that, but it is an out of 50. Number one. Number one out of 50 for Zach Collins. Cool. Like that. Yeah, nice little signature, too. This would be a red. Oh, it's a red rookie. I think red. I think red rookies ought to get soft sleeved. Soft sleeved it did? Soft sleeved? Soft sleeved. Put up, put up, put up the shorter. Come on. There we go. Huh. Marcelo Zuna. Trevor Story. All right. Found both our autos. We got five packs left. Maybe there'll be some bonus heat in here. We have gotten a few numbered cards. Dubon, just saw him play last night when I watched the Padres beat the Giants. It looked really cold up there in San Francisco. I'm glad I'm down here in San Diego. Thank you very much. Hey, Trent Christian rookie. Definitely a PC-ish card. We'll quickly throw that in a soft sleeve. Clevenger, George Brett, Nadal, Logan Webb, and got a red Asan Diaz. That's cool. Always like those rookie parallels. You can see what a subtle difference the parallel is. It's just a little bit of red foil instead of the silver foil, and other than that, that's it. Anderson, Dumont, Harper, Hosey, Nolan Ryan, Walker Bueller. We have not seen a bow yet, have we? Not even a base. So that gallon. <laughs> Sandy Koufax hitting. Ooh. Power.
power zone. Be sick if it's autographed. That's cool. I like probably maybe like you also have you also Griffey PC. Three more packs. Get that third to last pack magic going. Another Grish. Right, we'll save the time and not sleep that one yet. I'll do that off camera. All right, that's another Padre. I know he's not in a Padre in that card, but he homered for the Padres literally last night. Ooh, it's gonna be a red David Wright. Yep. So it looks like in that spot in the pack, there's either a um um either just like a a, a red parallel or a parallel of a regular card, or that's where they'll put the uh, the insert. Big Poppy Ortiz. Stella Gallon Great Chick Oh, we got a bow. And Dustin May. By the way, if any of you aren't familiar with it, with it, obviously you want to get everything and penny as quickly as possible. Or as possible or any chance of value or something that you want to keep or whatever grade. Um, but these things can be a little difficult to get slightly thicker cards into. So, you know, a lot of people like to just cut down a little teeny bit right there. But you can do it the cool way. Just give it a flick. Looks like I pre-flicked that one. See, wishful thinking. Pretty good vibes in the universe that we're gonna get something worthy of putting in that sleeve I just prepped in the very last pack. Last pack magic. Here we go. There's a chrome. Bregman chrome. Okay. Verlander and what I assume is gonna be a red Charlie Blackman. Nope, a black Charlie Blackman. Because if it wasn't, it'd be a Charlie Redman. Ha ha, terrible joke. Okay. Chrome. inserts there we go all done again thank you very much for your time and sticking with me through the video if you enjoy this kind of content please do subscribe to the channel go back and look at some of my other videos i've got quite a few of them posted they're so far in two little playlists uh, wax openings like this and like this the, the blind graded card reveals quick review we've got a little pile of reds a little pile of inserts we've got black charlie blackman isan diaz red rookie Brock Burke, red rookie, and a black uh, Schwarber parallel. Over here, we've got our chrome hit of the box, Alex Bregman. We've got the Griffey Power Zone and the Juan Soto in the wings. For our autos, we got a red Zach Collins, number one out of 50. 
and a Jose Urquidy. And in our other rookies, we got a Jordan, a couple of Grishams, an Austin Nola, again, PC stuff for me, and the Beau Bichette. All right. Leave any comments, any questions you have down in the bottom, the bottom thing. Um, any comments you have on this stuff? If you have, um, you know, like I said, please like and subscribe. And uh, most importantly, have a great day. I appreciate you. Thanks. Goodbye.